So, Monday morning, 21.3 and 21.4. Realized workout, it's a lot more kind of traditional, like CrossFit, a bit of skill work in there. It's gonna be one and done for me. Um, again, not focusing too much on this first AG Open, so looking forward to finishing this workout with a bang and getting a decent score. It's very much a workout where I think you will benefit a lot from redoing it and you'll learn a lot and get a lot of feedback from the first time we do this workout. So my plan is to probably break the toes to bar up into 15-15, move quick on the squats and thrusters, um, and then 15-15 on the chest to bars, and then on the bar muscle ups I'm gonna do five sets of six with minimal rest in between. And this workout's very much dependent on the muscle ups, so there's no point going super hard get into that muscle ups and then breaking down and taking so long on that set of 30 muscle ups. So the workout really starts in the muscle ups. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go probably harder than what I would like to if I was doing a redo. I'm, I'm gonna get to the, the bar muscle ups, decent pace, but then I'm really gonna push the pace in the bar muscle ups, which could backfire. I could end up taking the last set of 15, could have taken so much longer than the first set of 15, but I wanna go hard, I wanna see how my grip handles and the fatigue. And then for the lift, I've seen a lot of people, just grips gone, so yeah, let's see how we do. I think I wanna aim on the lift for maybe, I would say between 130 and 140 kilos. Again, if I was doing that lift fresh, you'd be around the 150 mark, but it's gonna be completely different, and I know your grip's gonna to be totally fatigued, so anywhere between 130 and 140, I'll be, be fairly pleased with. And then for the workout, I think a sub nine time, for your first attempt is quite a good time to aim for, but they're my predictions, but it's gonna be a fun one. Come take a seat. Man up the feet. I'm hungry like a man fans in this week. It's time to eat. Back from the dead, but don't repeat. I'm the missing link. Open your eyes, what do you seek? My vision complete. Uh, put them as black as they come, come. Even shoot black when they. Uh, I'ma shoot back when they come. Bang. They wanna attack, but I'm numb. I'm numb. Just gets the black on my bum. Hi, I'm, I'm moving back to the sun. The sun. Huh. That just rap cause it's fun. Got my lady wearing all black like a nun. Make a deposit. Leave them with some knowledge. Honey, granted, I ain't safe for college. My kids gon' get all this Uncle Sam, what it all when he yard it Even the lamb when I brought it Add it up, but we got a problem Get out the way if you ain't tryna solve it hey. Let's paint it all We in all I need it in all My heart, soul, I go Let's paint it all We in all Come for me, that's right, victory. Right when the demons come 
for me, that's so Make a deposit, leave him with some knowledge Honey, granted, I ain't safe for college My kids gon' get all this Uncle Sam, what it all when he got it Even the land when I bought it Add it up, go we got a problem Get out the way if you right trying to solve it Let's hit it all Anybody try to violate, we 
annihilate Time to show them we ain't playing from the gate Dominate, bust a rest bar while we elevate Dominate, make a bone shake, make a vibrate Dominate, time to dominate, dominate, dominate So, toe on, point three and four done. Open is over. Just got some post-workout nutrition. It's my favorite balance uh, meal at the minute. Uh, chicken thighs and egg fried rice tastes amazing. But um, yeah, fairly happy with how the workout went. I finished 21.3 in 8.54, and I lifted 133 kilos for the lift. So um, fairly happy with it. I reckon we can make up around 25 seconds on the first part of the workout. We went really hard on the bar muscles, bar muscles which is what I wanted to do. But that really caught up on me on the last kind of 10 reps, and it kind of went out the window for the last 10 strategy wise so looking back I think if we would have hit the muscle ups with longer rest at the start so we were doing sets of six but I was only resting for maybe six seconds in between the sets to start with whereas if that rest would have been about 12 seconds that would have evened out to a quicker time and we would have saved about 20 seconds so yeah happy with the first performance I wanted to go sub nine on the first attempt and then if we did it again we'd aim for maybe sub 8.30 so fairly happy with that and then the lift I definitely felt it in my grip more than what I thought I was going to do. Um, I just needed probably two minutes, two minutes rest before I even lifted anything. Um, and then I think I did one clean and jerk at 100, I think. Then we went to 110 for a full complex and then jumped to 133 and then hit the complex. It felt pretty, uh, pretty steady, to be honest. It was just all in your grip. I think the hardest part of that complex was bringing the bar down from the first clean and then holding on trying to hit the second hand clean or the first hand clean but the second lift um, and then the jerk was was irrelevant it was, it was pretty easy for me so yeah for me it was all if I could hold on from the first clean to the hand clean and then make that hand clean um, but yeah, fairly happy with that. The, the time for the seven minutes for the lift just flew by. So I only had time for that one lift at 133. So in hindsight, if I was doing it again, strategically hit the muscle ups better, just save some time. And then you've got to start that lift pretty much straight away. I was just basically chilling for maybe two and a half minutes, which wasted too much time. I'd probably shake my hands off, give myself a minute, and then be strict with myself. Hit a lift at maybe 100 again. Don't do a full complex at 110, just hit 110. Hit the 130 and then try and attempt another one at 140. Um, but yeah, as a one and done, fairly happy with it. We've looked through the video and we've seen where we could improve time. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. First bit of the open done. Again, it was really relaxed stage. Um, yeah, no pressure, no stress, so really enjoyed it. Now looking forward to the next stage of the quarters, which will start next Thursday. And again, that will be, I think, I reckon they'll release maybe six, seven workouts over the weekend for you to hit. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Body's feeling good. Um, I get my training on schedule for the quarters all the way through this first part of the Open. And uh, yeah, very excited for it, to so bring it on. So today's session, we have some ring muscle ups endurance work under fatigue. So we're gonna do 21 cow row, nine ring muscle ups, 15 cow row, six ring muscle ups, nine cow row, three ring muscle ups. Do that as quick as you can, rest three minutes for three total rounds. Total time is your score. All right, so including the rest will be in your score time, except for the last set of rest. All right, so do the workout, rest three minutes, do the workout, rest three minutes, do the workout, see what the time is, that's your total time. Obviously, both movements are very the same, so you're constantly pulling in the row. And obviously, you've got a big pull for the ring muscle up, so it's just good to get your body used to stopping before you get that fatigue point. So, if this workout is able to do it unbroken, 
but if you weren't able to do it in broken, you want to be splitting the reps up from the start so you don't get to a point where you're failing any reps. But uh, yeah, for me, I managed to do them all in broken, which is good. So about 18, 90 seconds quicker than last time I did it. Did that workout maybe four or five months ago. So nice bit of progress. Didn't fail any muscle ups. If you can't do muscle ups, change the gymnastic movements to chest to bar, bar muscles, you can do bar muscle ups or pull ups or toes to bar because um, it'll all be good gymnastic work, so it doesn't have to be ring with slips. 21.59 on the row, and then 9.63 of any really gymnastic movement, and see how you find it. Just got back, had a good morning session this morning. Um, now just have another meal, just bolognese and pasta. After this morning's training session, we had an interview with um, a journalist from The Times, which is pretty cool, talking about my CrossFit journey. Um, missing out of the games last year due to pandemic. Um, so that interview was about two hours long. So got back, have some food, I'll quickly do some programming, and then we're going back for the second session later today. It was supposed to be some snatches, overhead squats, and then some gymnastic stuff, but having a bit of a like, IT issue here, so actually can't squat at the minute without being in pain down the side. So um, I think that's just been brought on from doing, been trying to do a lot of like box step ups and a lot of things to help me, my body cope with pistols that are probably gonna come through the quarterfinals. Um, I can never really do too many pistols because of my ankles, um, it really flares them up. So I've um, been trying to do some other strength and work and for some reason it just seemed to flare my IT band up. It's not like I'm just gonna stop training, I'm just gonna just what I'm gonna do and then just gotta monitor this and try and get it as fit as possible for next week. But I think just the build up I've been doing over the last couple of weeks and then doing that heavy lift in 21.3, um, just seem to flare it up for some reason. So, yeah, nothing too crazy, but it'll probably be fine in a couple of days. But for today's session and certainly tomorrow's session, I'll just keep any squatting out of the training sessions and uh, just focus on other bits. So. So now we've got the Normatec leg sleeves on. Two reasons, one to try and help my IT band just promote some blood flow to the area, and two just for general recovery of the legs. Obviously 21.3 slash four was very leg dominant, did loads of squats and then heavy lifting at the end. So these really help with uh, flushing out all the lactic acid, promoting the blood flow through the legs, which helps your legs recover a lot quicker. So I love wearing these because you can put them on and then get on with work or have a nap or do whatever you want whilst they do all the work for you. All right, so we're gonna start with a 10 minute EMOM. Pretty chill, six devil press the first minute and then 20 strict hands and press ups the second minute. So it's purely focusing on the strict hands and press ups. And then the devil press is just trying to do a movement whilst I'm controlling my heart rate down, if possible, during that movement. So I'll look at my heart rate at the start of the devil press. When I go through the movement and do the six, ideally it wants to be the same or lower. So I want to be controlling my heart rate on the devil press. I'll be looking at my heart rate during the workout. But then after, we'll have a look um, at the data and see where it peaked and uh, yeah, to see what how well I was controlling my heart rate through the workout. So monitor it at the minute, it's minute 86, and then we'll have a look at the feedback after we finish. So we're just going on to my uh, most recent workout. See what the heart rate was at. So average heart rate 102, max heart rate 126. So during the whole workout, I was monitoring my heart rate on the devil press and I managed to bring it down on every set, which is good. So I was still performing the, the reps, but whilst I was doing that, I was focusing on bringing my heart rate down. And after each set of devil press, my heart rate was either the same, if not lower every set. So the workout is pretty chill and that proved that Average heart rate one at two, it's pretty chill. It's so important during movements in CrossFit where movements like double unders, um, things like that where you can just still tick over the movement and then just try and bring your heart rate down and then move on to the next movement, whatever it is. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. 
So this watch is predominantly um, a running watch, so it's so good for all my running intervals. Um, so I predominantly use the interval timer. Um, I will use the heart rate, obviously tracking during the workouts and monitor my heart rate. Um, and one of the really good things about this watch is it's solar powered, so you don't have to ever really charge it. It will charge its battery through natural and artificial light, so you can just wear it pretty much every day and always that battery. And it's bulletproof, so yeah, really good. So that's the open done, all finished. Took it pretty steady, pretty chill. Um, obviously the quarterfinals are next weekend. Very much looking forward to them. This week will be the last big week of training, um, kind of refining any skill work that I need to do, um, make sure the body's recovered. Lots of massages and physio appointments to get the body ready. And then next week, Monday will be a lightish day and then rest in Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'm pretty sure they're gonna release the workouts on Thursday. So. We'll try and hit one Thursday maybe, Thursday evening if you have time. And then we've got Friday, Saturday and Sunday to hit the rest of them. So we don't actually know how many workouts we've got, but I reckon it's going to be about six or seven. Um, so it's going to be a good test of all different things. So yeah, really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be more CrossFit style um, workouts, more so than the Open, because they had to program the Open to make it inclusive for everyone who couldn't access the gym. Um, whereas the quarterfinals, you've got to be able to access the gym. So. Yeah, really looking forward to that. We've kind of, as a team, just made sure we just got through the Open, we didn't focus on the Open at all. Um, so we're focusing more on these quarters and, and obviously the semi-finals going on from that. So yeah, looking forward to it. Good day of uh, training today. Um, and bring on, yeah, bring on the quarterfinals. Another day done. And now I'm